Hey, Life of the Box here, and recently I picked up a thermal camera, really for home inspections, but then I was like, oh, why don't we test it on my Tesla, so we can see what actually gets heated. On a really cold night, minus 20 degrees Celsius, I figure we should test it just to get some clear and interesting results. So in this video, I'm going to run four tests. One, uh, we're going to do Tesla, where it's just completely frozen. For the second test, I'm going to initiate charging. And then the third test, I'm going to turn on the preconditioning climate control. And then last test will be defrost mode activated. I'll be checking which parts Tesla automatically heats, what gets left out, and which mode activates specific heating elements. So next time, I'll know exactly which setting to use. One thing I'm especially curious about, are the door handles actually heated? Let's find out. Also, sorry for the soft voice in the video. It was late and I'm talking alone in the dark, which just feels weird. Oh, and if you're new here, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. Alright, let's get into it. So right now the Tesla has been off for about 5 hours now. And it's currently minus 20 degrees Celsius, so really cold on the car. Uh, the car has been... Is, the Tesla is on standby. I haven't touched it at all, and we're gonna see what kind of heat it's given off while it's on standby mode. Looks like on the side camera here, we have a little bit of heat. Gonna take a picture of that. Can't really see it, but there is no heat coming out of that charge port at all and to the back now it's hard I know it's kind of hard to tell but there's also no heat coming up from the back or in the windows car is completely blue meaning it's super cold Even the cameras are all cold. And uh, if we go around here. Yeah, this camera isn't, I mean, there's a little bit of, of heat coming out of here, but it's still uh, not enough. Well, it's on standby mode. Let's check under the car. Okay, so the battery is a little bit warm still. Now we're showing minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Minus 0.5. It is showing up red compared to the rest of the car. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. You can kind of see there's a heat glowing the bottom of where the battery is, even though the Tesla has been on standby mode. What I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna start the charging and then I'm gonna activate this charge and we're gonna see what will heat up from just charging. All right, so now that we've had, I've had the uh, Tesla charging, for about 10 minutes now. You can see a pretty big difference here. The whole bottom of the Tesla is emitting heat where the battery is. Because that makes sense because it is heating up the battery right now because it's so cold to optimize better charging. So you can see the whole bottom is red now. And I've noticed that the charge port area, instead of previously we were seeing minus 11, a little bit warmer now at around minus 9, minus 10, and uh, we can see a little bit of heat um, from the charge cable here, which is pretty cool. See that you see the cable turning red, right? And then another thing I noticed is uh, not the side camera but the front camera here, so that. Front camera there has 
It's starting to get pretty hot there. And if we go around, and if we go to the other camera here, I mean front camera here, see the heat right there? Yep, that's pretty cool. Not sure why that's doing that. The other cameras and the front, uh, no heat coming out. Let's see the camera on the back here, the rear camera. Yeah, the rear camera has a bit of heat as well. You see that the, the back camera is emitting, is emitting heat. All right, it's really cold. But if we step back here, you can see the whole bottom of the Tesla has started to glow even more in the bottom. Let's see what we're at now with the battery. So we're now at minus three, 2.8. So the battery has heated up two degrees. Yeah, the charge port here is a little bit red, but we're still maintaining uh, about minus, it is warming up a little bit more now before it was minus 10. So now plan is I am going to switch it to uh, turn on the precondition climate control and then we're going to see uh, what part of the car starts heating up. back out here again the Tesla has been preconditioning for about 10 minutes ish about to reach its set temperature so now if we take a look at the Tesla now we can see that the rear glass is completely heated up okay anything else heated camera again the back camera is still very hot now if we go to the charge port it's gone up again it's gone up a bit more okay let's keep going now the back glass actually the quarter pretty hot here okay and that pretty, should pretty much speak for the whole interior glass now, surprisingly, this camera on the pillar is not really heating up. So I thought there was a if that there was a heating element there. Okay, let's keep going. And yeah, the bottom of the Tesla is pretty much glowing red now. And let's keep going. Let's see what else we have here. So that is oh, my heated mirrors are turning on. Heated mirrors will turn on when you turn, activate the precondition. And again, that front camera is still is still hot. To the front here, uh, we've got the front windshield, nice and hot, blowing nice and hot. And then we have the oh, it looks like the camera on the top. You can see the front camera area is being heated up. That is really cool. And it looks like it's being fed all the way down by a wire to heat it up. And that's pretty cool. Like this is to heat up the, um, the windshield wipers. And then you can see obviously the yeah the the vent blowing heating up the front window. You can see how the the heating wires are connected to heat up the cam uh, the camera. Tesla's getting hotter and hotter. And then now we have again the front camera that's lit up. Anything else? Nope, not nothing here. Same same thing here. This okay. So now I can tell that. This mirror is not heated. I did notice the wire um, was disconnected. Now I know I need to reconnect that. And now we can make our way to the back here. 
again, nothing new here. Okay, now we back up. You can really see where Tesla's being heated up. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the defrost mode. And we're going to see what difference that makes. Alright, so I'm going to enable defrost mode. And let's go. Alright, now for the final results. I've been on defrost mode for a while now. About 10 minutes. And let's see what kind of changes we have here. Alright, so... Immediately we can see all the windows are glowing red. The back here, this window is hot. Or, and then let's see, in the back here, camera is still hot red dot here. Let's check the charge port. So again, this is defrost mode. Uh, deep, definitely getting warmer here. And, uh, Pretty basically, if I put it right where the port is, you can see that glow there, right? So definitely this would not freeze up here. So when they say that this is heated, it's actually not the whole panel, but just right inside the, um, the charge port here. All right, moving along here, cable is, charge cable is pretty hot. Okay, so it looks like in terms of defrosting the window, the back window is really just the bottom half. The rest is not heated. And then of course the windows are hot just because from all that energy in the cabin that's been heated. And then all that heat also trickles to the roof. And then if we make our way to the mirror, the mirror again is getting pretty hot now. We are at 26 degrees on the mirror. That is really hot. And then, interestingly enough, the polar camera is not really on. There's no heat coming out of that side pair. The camera on the pillar, it's got, we still got that red hot front camera here on the turn signal. So front wise, nothing on the hood is heated. That's why there's always snow built up on the hood. And if we go up to here, the front windshield is super hot. And if you take a look, it doesn't seem like the uh, defrost mode turns on the heated wires for the front camera. Yeah, it doesn't seem so. So in defrost mode, the front camera heated, heating elements do not activate and the wiper, wiper elements also aren't activated. Interesting. And then let's see that side camera is still hot. And looking at the pillar here, that side camera, the pillar camera has no heat at all. And then everything else on this side, nothing. Okay. And finally, let's find out how hot the battery is now. After running it for a while, before we were at minus five, even on idle. So now let's see. The battery is hovering around zero or minus one degrees. So on to my final thoughts. After running all four different tests, it's clear how Tesla prioritizes heating different areas of the car. Uh, the battery and cabin gets the most attention, while some exterior parts remain cold. Unfortunately, the door handles are not heated, so that's something to keep in mind for extreme winter conditions. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and now you understand which mode to use depending on the weather in your area to get the best possible efficiency. If there are any other thermal camera tests you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.